Lesson 17, here we go. All right, so this is surface area, and surface area is kind of a neat thing. We have to find the surface area of each of these pieces. This is like a box, and we unfold it, and we see how much space it takes up when it's in its flat sense, which is the net drawing of it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to name the shape. So obviously when we look at this, this is a rectang rectangular prism. It's a prism because it has faces that are rectangles. And number two over here is a rectangular pyramid. Why a pyramid you say? It comes up to a point. If I fold all those up, it's a point. So we named them. Check. Write the expression for surface area. So there's a technical definition for this um, to, to figure out the surface area of a rectangular prism. And we go surface area equals, and I'm going to do this one in blue. Surface area equals two times length times widths plus two length times heights plus two width times heights. Now that sounds all crazy, but length times width is like known as the bottom and the top of, of something. Bottom and top. That's why we have two of them. And your length and your height is like your front and the back. That's why we have two of what you get. And then the width heights are like your sides, which we obviously have two sides to every shape. Okay. So now we're going to take that and we're going to figure out the surface area of it. Okay. So back to the marker. So we have the bottom and the top. So we can call this the bottom. We can call that the front and the back. We can call that the top, the bottom. And we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the 7 by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 4. So we can go 7 times 4 doubled. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 doubled. We'll just do that in our heads. 56. With me so far? Perfect. All right. Front and back. So we have 7 by 2. Okay. So 7 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times 2 is 14. So we have 7 times 2 and times 2. So 14 that doubled is 28. And we have two sides. We have 2 by 4s. So 4 by 2. 4 by 2. 4 by 2. We got double that, so that's 8, that's like 16, and then we have to add up all those parts. So we take 56, I'm going to move the shape down so you can see the math. We take 56, and after we take the 56, we add the 56 with the 28, with the 16, and we get 100. And these are feet squared equals the surface area. So when it's done in a net, if there are a bunch of rectangles, a very simple way to do it is to count the boxes. So let's see 2, 4, 6, 8. That works. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 2, 4, 2, 6, 28, and so on and so forth. But what we do is we had to add the answer to this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this, and that is the surface area it takes up. So now... Looking at this rectangular prism, and I'm just going to do this so we separate it, so we have some space. Rectangular prism has a little bit more involved. We might be paused. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to move the screen around a little bit. Not really quite sure what happened there, but whew, that was close. So we have triangle formulas here, but if you notice this triangle and this triangle, they're the same, and that triangle and that triangle are the same. So when we do the formula for this, we're just going to times it by 2. When we get the formula for this, we're just going to times it by 2, and then we have our little rectangle in the middle. We're going to start with our rectangle. 
So we have area equals length times width, area equals one, two, three, four, five, five times two, area equals 10 feet squared. And that was for the rectangle. So this is 10 with me so far. Now we're going to do the side triangles. So we're going to do that side triangle. Um, and then we're going to have area equals half base times height, half of two times, and we check height, one box, two box, three box, and it touches the fourth box. The tip touches the fourth box. No matter how you look at it, it's one, two, three, four jumps. So that is a two by four. So half of two is one. One times four is four. Area equals four for the side ones. But we have two of them. So that means that's eight feet squared. So we have that one and that one. So this is four. And this is four. So now we have this one. Now I got to move this down. So now you're going to lose your picture, but you can look back at it. Okay. Awesome. So now we have the other triangle, which is half base height. This is area. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and our height is one, two, three, four. So we have half of five times four. We're not going to do half of five, but we'll do half of four. So we'll have five times two, which is 10. So area equals 10 feet squared. And we're going to double that. We're going to times by two because there's two of them. So there's 20 feet squared. So this is one, two, three, four, five times four is 20. So that's 10 and that's 10. So we, the whole thing back up to the top. that a little better if we add them all up we have 10 20 34 38 38 feet squared is the surface area 10 20 30 34 38 well hope this all makes sense have a great day of course i love soda diet coke mostly